Okay, are you finally going to show us what you've been scribbling away at all night? Did you not sleep, Zaytest? Nope, but that's normal for me. Some habits just stick. Uh, yes, I am going to show you. I actually drew up some plans and notes for... I guess... damage control? Not much use trying to control it now. The damage is done. True, but you know what I mean. Picking up the pieces. As a team. Like... <laughs> can't believe I'm saying that. I know the feeling. Right, so, we're going to need a significant amount of coin and our elbow grease, first of all. I'm guessing Ulfric won't have access to whatever kind of treasury Skyrim has until after the moot. Whenever that ends up being. I can handle the coin part, although I'd like to check with my... Mm, I'd like to make sure my house in Riften hasn't been ransacked while I'm gone. Make sure Maven hasn't tried to send Hitman after my house, Carl, or something. <laughs> I'm sure the rest of us can handle the elbow grease part. Speak for... Actually, no. You're right, I am included in that. Still getting used to not being a bookworm, aren't you? Yeah... So, Topic, as far as I know, the only two cities that are in dire need of repair right now are Whiterun and Solitude, which is actually relatively contained. I have something I'd like to do, personally, while construction gets going, just so I don't have to worry about it while I focus on this. Or, well, we focus on this. I'll be glad to help rebuild something for once instead of breaking things. Oh, I can get the companions to chip in around Whiterun if they haven't started already. Farkas especially. Big beef of a man, comes across as dull, but I think he's smarter than he lets on. And I could help around Solitude if... Actually, no, I think I'd rather stick with people for the time being. Probably smart, and I feel personally responsible for all of this, so I'll chip in wherever I can. In that case, I'd recommend getting White Rum back on its feet first, that way it can serve its purpose as the heart of trade and transport in Skyrim. It'll be a lot easier to move supplies from Windhelm to Solitude if there's somewhere to stop along the way that isn't on fire. I suspect there will also be plenty of people in need of medical attention and just... help in general. Think you've got enough construction projects between this and Winterhold? <laughs> yeah. And I'm not gonna be able to do anything there until I get an actual construction team out here. So... I have friends in High Rock doing their best, but... I don't know. We'll see. Until or unless they get out here, my focus is on the parts we can fix between the seven of us. Hey, we can get started cleaning out rubble and hammering nails in Whiterun while you do whatever it is you need to do. They test. Inigo and I are speedy. We'll go check back home and then see how much we have in terms of coin. Inigo might be able to help with the heavy lifting, but I am obviously not built for that. He'll be a good coordinator if we need to relay messages quickly. True. And... Uh... Cayman. I'm sticking with you, hon. Kinoa can handle herself. <laughs> yeah. Once I get out of my own way and stop being self-conscious about tripping over things, or running into people. We'll watch you back, don't worry. Right, well, that's pretty much all I had in terms of planning. Just laying out what we need to do, where and what our priorities should be. He and I will be back to helping as soon as we get things sorted out down in Riften. Riften? What's in... Oh. Yeah. Mordgood, if you want to come with us, or else travel with Zaytest and Inigo, I have to go pick up something in Winterhold, so we'll be going the long way around. Should we tell Dom? Probably. We'll worry about that when we get there. Alright, so you and Cayman head east. Kinoa and I will start organizing things in Whiterun. Zaytest, Inigo and Mordgood will go to Riften and check in. Oh, because... Oh, the Dawnguard! Hey, I think Israel will want to know why I've been completely absent for the last little while. Oh, yeah. Alright, sounds like a plan. We'll get going now. See you two... When we see you. Be safe. Good luck. Same to you. Arden and Yarnvita getting along. The Deadlands must be freezing over. <laughs> Alright, come on, day's wasting. 
Ah, it will be good to be on a normal person schedule again. Must we? Must we what? Dive straight back into something? Can we not just be still for a little while? Relax? We've just fought and won a war, hun. Rather an unimpressive one, though, don't you think? Sure, the preamble was long and storied, but it was over in two weeks. That doesn't make it any less meaningful. Or exhausting. True. I'm not exhausted, though, and I feel like I owe it to the people who are exhausted and broken and mourning this whole mess to do something they can't and bring a little peace back into the world. You'll never rest, will you? Bad habit, that. I'll... Once we get this going, we can... Don't. Don't make promises you can't keep, Arden. I know you better than that. Yeah, you do. I do promise that at some point we can settle down for a while. I'm not sure what I'll do with myself if I don't have something to work on, but... Eventually. I'll get there. We'll get there. My fire. Always in danger of burning out. <laughs> I... I'll try not to. Come on. Are we going to move now or stay until nightfall? Ah, uh, actually, we probably should go. I didn't... That was a bloody battle and... Yeah, that was my thinking, too. Get out before people start to notice the fangs. Oh, oh am I... Not yet. Come on, my lord. Oh no, it's back. And it's still a downpour. Uh, you're a courier, right? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. I have a letter here from Quintus Navale in Windhelm. He said it was urgent. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Quintus... Navale, where's... Huh. That's... that's weird. You know like Quintus? I do. He's the one who was treating my eye. I have way too much in my bag. There we are. During Norellian's convalescence, I've been studying legends of the file. I don't know enough of enchanting to make one anew, but with the proper materials, I may be able to repair the original. Please come see me as soon as you can. Respectfully, Quintus Navale, Windhelm. So we gotta go back to Windhelm? Uh, well, I've gotta go back to Windhelm. I don't know about... Dragonborn, it's an honor. Thanks. I don't know about any of you. Did that letter say something about the file? Yeah. Uh, Quintus mentioned something about the white file. When I was there last, he was the one treating my eye. And something about Norellian. Apparently there's a way to fix it. Well, I know we said we were going to go to Whiterun, but... Do you mind if I come with you? We could take a boat from Solitude. See what we could do there first before we... Head over there and... I don't know. Make sure everything's good. That actually sounds like a good idea. I'd rather take a boat from Solitude to Windhelm and then go down to Riften than just... run all the way across the province. Alright. I, I guess that's what we'll do then. I think you said something about the... Dragonborn, it is my honor to stand before you. The owner's all mine. I guess. Didn't... The lady back at the inn say that... The... The folks in Solitude, or the, the, the temple, were gonna... Accept donations or something like that? Oh yeah. We should go check that out too. See if we can help. Well, it looks like someone works fast. Hmm? 
All the rubble piles that were here and on fire the other day- yesterday are gone now. Hmm. You look like you are a deep in thought, Miss Harbinger. Uh, the yarn vida. Hey, I'm just thinking who else we could recruit to help with this thing. It's too bad they executed Rogvia before we got here. Oh, yeah, that's true. I wonder if we could have done anything, though. Probably not. Short of just charging in and interrupting it with blades and whatnot. Still smells like smoke around here, but at least the fires are out. Hey, looks like I was going to say things are mostly normal, and then I saw a broken thing. Well, hello. Hello. Yes. No. Need something? Uh, no. You sorry. You see me when you get bored, stranger. Keep running into people. I'm even running into people on my good side now. That's that's great. Hmm. What? Well, I'm just wondering what happened to Captain. I can't remember his name. Hmm. You the. As high priest of the nine divines, I bid you welcome. Thank you. Hey, he doesn't like he doesn't look like a high priest I'd ever want to get any kind of lesson from. That's for sure. Let's see if they're actually taking donations. Blessings of the nine divines upon you. How may I help? I I remember you. You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? No, I've I've come seeking the this is the place to put donations for the rebuilding effort, right? May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. <laughs> uh, the box is over here. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh. Gods forgive me for what I have done. Give me the strength to repay my debts in this life. What? Huh? Let us walk in the steps of the divines. Eh, uh, don't worry about Inigo, he's got some stuff. Um... Hmm. Well, I can chip in... Well, I guess 50,000 gold. 50,000? 50, no, uh, 5,000 gold. I don't know about the rest of you. Uh... What? I am an agent of the smart blue cat created to bring amusement and delight. <laughs> there he goes. Good morning. What's so good about it? Huh? Oh, I can. Uh, well, good day. I feel like I should keep my voice down in here, but I can. I can put in, you know, ten thousand, just out of my pocket, and also in the ghost pockets. Great gods, that's a lot of money. Uh, how about we just all put in, you know, 10,000 and call it a day? And by that I mean between all of us and not just, like, one of us? I think that sounds like a good idea. Besides, we'll be helping with arms and hammers and whatnot, so... Hmm, better than hammered arms. Alright, there's that. Now, we should probably get going before... May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Let's get going. Uh, if you could stop blocking the door, my good sir. 
You're not blocking the door. Come, come. I haven't got all day. Yep, yeah, neither do we. We've got to get to... Windhelm. Hey. Did you know that there's a shortcut sort of down to the docks? From the, like... Like the tower thing. Is it true what they say? There was a dragon held captive in Whiterun, and you... you released it? By the gods! Man, why? <laughs> Did he just call you... Um... I think he did. I don't know. That might just be solitude slang talking. Releasing a captured dragon. I don't think I'll ever understand that one. <laughs> I think... I think they've got a favorite story. I think so too. Where did... Viermo. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. I I don't know. They're they're not bad. These folks around me. It's good to see you. It was a pleasure. Mhm. Mm Where's I'm glad to see you. The f I don't know either. You are going to ask about the shortcut, no? That is correct. It is right under that thingy there, and through the, uh, right side gate? I've got weapons for giving it isn't quite the docks, for but it is close. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Oh. <laughs> well, you were right. It's not quite the docks. It's pretty close, though. Hey, this will be a good, um, good place to know where it goes. Like, in case of what, I don't know, but... Hey, it's not like we've got to hide from much anymore. Stormcloaks have... taken all the cities and... Everything, what not. The heck is that? Uh, oh. Just realized that the guy down here has this little tiny ferry boat. I'm not sure if it'll take all of us. Who knows, he might, uh, he might actually own that slightly bigger one out there. And just have the rowboat to get out to it. That's a fair point. Oops, excuse me. You heard me. of Ravenscar Hollow? Cave on the island uh -huh. to the west. Place is a roost for those foul hag ravens. Did you say hag ravens? I might have to go pay them a visit at some point. Hey there. Looking to hire a boat? Uh, yeah, but it'll have to be a bigger one than this little dinghy here. Where are you headed? Alright, we're headed to Windhelm. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Oh, this is gonna take trips, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Well, let's be off then. You know, I, I did kind of just intend to come through here, and that's a new ship, though. Yes, it is. Who's that standing on the deck? Um, I, I, I don't really know. That's a good question. I feel like I recognize one of them, though. There's like an old guy standing on the... Let's go see, shall we? You really will never rest. Oh, are you alright? Yeah, sometimes I have a bad voice day. 
This might be one of them. We'll see. Wait, hang on a second, I recognize those two. Hmm? Sigwin! What did it? Ardenius! How have you been? It's good to see you. It's... you look wonderful. It's good to see you in one piece, Lot. I, I thought you two were stuck in High Rock until... I, I mean, I'm... Gods, it's good to see you two again. Aye, this is enough to make your head spin, eh? We heard about Alduin a few months ago and got the team together. We also figured we'd wait until winter passed and the sea started to thaw out again before we set sail. Didn't expect to arrive at the tail end of a war. I guess I shouldn't be surprised with the way things are going around here. <laughs> Superstitious old goat. And is this that friend you wrote us about? Ah, oh, Golds, my man is... Sorry, uh... Yes, this is my... Cayman. This is Cayman. Your partner? Ah, uh, um... That's me. It's good to meet you, Sigwin. Lop, dear. Don't mind the voice. I've heard worse, strange as it may sound. I'm so happy for you two, and sorry again, Ardenius. He was a... Uh, let's not talk about him. You say you brought a team with you? Oh, yes. We were just waiting on a ferryman here in Dawnstar to finish loading up so we can sail our equipment over to Winterhold. Ah, uh, there's not much of a port there. Or any port there, really. You'd be better off sailing to Windhelm and then taking a wagon up the road. I don't think there are any wagons in Dawnstar, but... Aye, there's always a catch. We could also escort these two to Winterhold so you can work out a plan before we head back south again. Ah, true. Listen, lad, I've been pardoning over the plans you brought us. I have some preparations of my own to make. Whatever you want to do, we're with you. Right. Uh, well... I have something to pick up for a friend of mine. Um, not often you're off your stride. Too many projects again. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yes, yes, too many. Uh, right. Okay. If I set you two up in Winterhold along with your team, pay for passage and whatnot, can I trust you to take care of it while I run some business? I mean, of course I can, you know? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. I have faith in you. Likewise. Alright. Uh, plans. Plans, plans, plans. We'll meet you two in Winterhold and figure it out from there. I'll let you finish up whatever you need to do here and... Actually, Arden, if you want to help them or... I don't know, look at whatever the merchants brought over. I have an errand to run here. Meet you at the inn later. An errand? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's just like old times. <laughs> yeah, alright, I'll take a hint. Go do your thing. I'll help out here and linger. We'll get our team situated and then come with you to Winterhold. How about that? Aye, let's get this show on the road. Still know how to fling spells, old man. <laughs> oh dear, don't get him started. Just like old times indeed. Except now I'm the tall one and we have a ranger instead of... Now you're the tall one. Thanks, son. Lantuko is what I say to dry skin strangers. You are Talilda. Dry skin. To me, you may say te Nantuko, it is enough. Nantuko te, then. <sighs> <laughs> um. Wait, excuse me. Don't bother trying. And uh, she's gone. She, she, oh. Um. I had a question. Don't bother trying to sell Cardanage fake goods. I'll know before the Septims even reach your pockets. That's quite the name. What does it mean? Hmm. Not many ask about my name. It means wandering but found. And it is the third name I have carried. Third? You've had to change names? Had to? Come. 
I have to do nothing. My name must change because I change, as all things do. And what were your other names? They are dead names, and I will not share them. Some things must die if new things are to grow. Kong ya anothaka wa kong hu yang kueng. You must be from Black Marsh, right? I was going to ask if you're speaking gel. I've I've never actually. Uh, I'm something of a linguist. I've never actually heard anyone speak gel. But you're from Black Marsh, right? Chu, I am. Although I have not lived there for many seasons, it will always be my home. I follow the path of the Whisper Hill, and I will wander until the hist call me back. The path of the Whisper Hill? Shoo! The Whisper Hill is one of the thirteen. The Whisper Hill's path is one of vagabonds and wanderers. A tree is the name a many take. That... Oh, who are the 13? Sorry I'm asking so many questions, it's just I've... Um, opportunities to learn about Black Marsh are um, sparse, as you've no doubt noticed. The memories of the root. The first of our people. Oftentimes, they are reborn into another Sakshil when our people need their guidance most. That's how you pronounce that. Okay, so that... Sa oh. <laughs> sa sa okay, um... You'll have to pardon my accent. How long have you been away from home? Roughly 40 seasons. Or 10 years for the Thalil. I lived in Hammerfell for quite a while as a mercenary. That's where I learned the art of sniffing out fraudulent goods. Traveling with those Alikir merchants will teach you a thing or two about trade. Oh, thus the... Garb. You travel a lot. You must hear some pretty interesting stuff, eh? Mike, I have seen much and heard even more. Is there a particular place you wish to gain more knowledge of? <laughs> I mean, pretty much everywhere, but I don't know. I haven't back. I, excuse me. I haven't been back home in a very long time. Any news from Cyrodiil? Colovians says that all the great art movements came from Dibella's divine intervention. If that's true. What does that say about the artists? <laughs> well, that makes... <laughs> That's enough for now. I... I did promise I'd meet... Anyway, I won't bother you. Uh, thank you for telling me so much about... Black Marsh and the Thirteen and whatnot. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I should know better than to be bugging people about that kind of thing for now, but... or by now, rather. Can't help myself. Very well. Send some Septim Skardanages way for me. Not knock What was that? Uh Gel is a very strange language. Well, that was not as bad as I expected. A little cramped, but that's fine. Oh, right. You three are gonna head to Riften, right? Hmm. Well, yeah, but we have to go through the city to get to the bridge, so, uh, we're coming with you still. Sort of. Fair enough. Need something? Nope, we're good. How much it would cost to fix these steps? We're full of ice and also mostly broken.
Okay, we've got everyone. Uh, I never know my way around here. <laughs> Everything looks grayer. Ever since that Imperial Craven ran me through from behind, I've had trouble breathing. I don't have any trouble drinking, though. No comment. <laughs> None for me, either. Oh. Alright, uh... Well... Uh, we'll... See you in Brit... Then... I think. <laughs> I'll probably meet you right in... In... Oh, God's White Run before... Too much longer. Fair point. I'll see you around. Probably White Run. Take care of yourself. Come on, Z. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry, Inigo already went out the gate. And away they go. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Um... Can't say as I have. Yeah? Not really. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but all right. Come and browse my fine selection. Everything's... Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy regions. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Quintus. How's it going? My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. So, you sent me a letter? Good to hear. You can be a difficult man to find. Thankfully, those couriers are tenacious. Uh, actually... I... Don't worry about it. You think you know how to repair the file? I have some thoughts. There are three crucial elements. Some may be easier to find than others. On the top of the throat of the world is a patch of unmelting snow. No heat can touch it. Then we need the tusk of a mammoth, ground to a fine powder as only the giants know how. The final step is tricky. It requires the Briar Heart from a Forsworn of the Reach. If you can bring me these materials, the file can again be made whole. <laughs> well, I've got the Briar Heart sitting around somewhere. That shouldn't be too hard. That's... good. Um... I know how to get to the throat of the world. What about this patch of unmelting snow? On top of the throat of the world is a patch of snow that's never melted. Well, yeah. They say the Greybeards taught it to ignore the sun, and the heat simply washes over it. The original file was made from this snow. We'll only need a small bit for the repairs. Ah, okay. And the mammoth tusk powder? The ivory produced by those beasts is as hard as iron. But the giants have found ways to make it yield. They're able to grind it down so fine that it can be infused into the lattice of packed snow. The finished material has the delicate nature of fresh powder snow, but the strength of the hardest steel. Ah. Okay. We'll see what we can do, Quintus. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry I ran into you. Obviously, I didn't see you. Yeah. Can... can I ask why he... called you... He knows you're a girl, right? Oh, uh, he's probably just, you know, a little frazzled from taking care of Norellian. That's a good point. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Okay, throw to the world. I'm ready to say we could get that mammoth powder. Uh, he didn't really, but... I mean, there's plenty of mammoth camps around Skyrim. Oh 
Okay. Looks like there's sort of a place nearby, but all the way... <laughs> kind of over by Dawnstar, funny enough. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a trek, isn't it? Um, a little bit. You're kind of quiet today, is everything alright? Um, yeah. I think so. I'm just... <laughs> I know that feeling. So where are we going to go first? Up a mountain or giant's camp? I think the mountain is closer. Ah, uh, eh. Actually, no. It looks like the giant's camp is closer. There are many ways we could do this. Let's go see about that powder first. Besides, there's an inn along the way, so if we need to stop for the night, we can go- we can do that. I think this is still a mystery to me. In what way? Well, he- Eh, yeah, never mind. He probably was just completely... Exhausted. I mean, we all are a little bit. Yeah. Seemed like he knew what he was- Oh great. Ooh. Nice dodge! None no. shall stand against Mirak. Ooh, okay. Okay, that was... ouch. Sorry. My aim is not exactly what it used to be. Not that I had particularly good aim to begin with. Uh... it's... it's fine. Taking that. Someday I'm gonna have to go deal with whoever is sending these sons of. You know what? I. Not today, though. We've kind of got a lot on our plate already. Kind? Why the goat? What are you seeing? A glowing goat? I'll let you take care of that then. That'll do. <sighs> we may end up having to rest the night. Wait a minute, I have a... There we are. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen somebody do that before. You're kind of glowing? That's one that I learned up at the monastery. It's taken a while to get a hang of it though. Turns out some shouts have different Effects depending on how many words you use. You have a house carl in white run for in white run. White right? Wow, that was hard to say. <laughs> yeah, I do. Her name is Lydia, 
and I haven't talked to her in months, I think. That's a surprise. Why haven't you talked to her in months? Um, well, we, we didn't exactly hit it off when we first met. She was very quiet. I was very quiet. And I don't think either of us really knew what to make of the other, so... Here we are. Thane and House Carl, having not spoken since long before the war. Before Alduin, too, I think. Jeez. So, you don't even know if she's still alive after all that. I feel like... Or at least I would hope that Vignar would have sent me some kind of notice if she'd been killed in the skirmish, but <laughs> I don't know. Not sure how much hope I hold for that. I was just thinking she might be, you know, someone useful to have along. Or at least another hand in the rebuilding effort. don't think I've ever gone off the road in this part of Skyrim before. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I mean, technically you have, but it was the other direction because Corvan Yund. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. There's a giant's camp here. This isn't the one, is it? Probably not. We have to go kind of around for that. Hey, friend. We're just going over here. Giants make me nervous. <laughs> Giants make everyone nervous. I don't know anyone who would willingly live near them. Or anything like that. There we go. Hang on a second. What is it? Uh, it's not the wolves. I was just to go and say it. Um, right. Never mind. What? Well, I was. You know what? It's it's probably time. It's probably time to actually say something. Uh, did you know that I'm a werewolf? No? Are you okay with this? Ah... Uh, I suppose I should be, considering that we've been running around with a couple of vampires this whole time. Right. So with that out of the way, it smells like Ingrath around here and I'm not sure why. Which is what I was going to say and then remembered that you didn't know. Ah, uh, now you know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. But okay. <laughs> you wanna go, uh... Werewolf this guy? Uh, no thanks. Get out of here. I'm not exactly fond of getting hairy, you know? <laughs> That's one way to put it. My treasure. 
Be careful. So, lest you wonder why a little old lady can swing a battle axe around like it's nothing, that's why. Okay, that makes sense-ish. There's supposed to be a giant's camp up here. Uh, I think we may have missed the... Nope, there's a thingy. Specific. Are we going to fight giants today? We may be fighting giants today. <laughs> I'm getting my voice ready. Because there's not really a chance of either one of us sneaking in, is there? Uh, no, not really. I'm not sure if that'll work, but I'm gonna give it a shot first. Just follow the things. These weird... things. So, you're a werewolf. Hi. Is Mordgood also a werewolf? What makes you ask this? Curiosity and... The idol wondering if you two are like some kind of pack or something. <laughs> I mean... She is. But in her case it was a complete accident and in my case... It wasn't. So, uh, yeah, no, we're not really a pack, we're just family. Which, you know, I suppose. Right, that makes sense. Solstheim is a very different place. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, don't. Yeah, no. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I think we're in the right place. Which is bad. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Not at all. Well, that guy didn't seem terribly... As long as we didn't get close to him. I have a suspicion we won't get that, uh... That kind of greeting from anyone else in here. Jeez. This looks like a reekling camp, but huge. I have no idea what a reekling is. A reekling is a tiny little goblin looking blue thing. They like to hide in barrels and bust out and be nasty. Hey, friend. Yeah, you keep your eye on us. We just need a pinch of this stuff, okay? Just a pinch. I'm not taking the whole thing. We on our way. I'm not taking your cheese. Don't walk backwards. Right. <laughs> okay, that was relatively painless. <laughs> if you say so. <sighs> Hi, we're just passing. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. 
Okay. He's not coming after us, is he? Nope. I don't think so. Ooh, alright. So here's a question. We're pretty close to Whiterun. Do we want to head over there and see what we can get started, or...? Well, I mean, it's the middle of the night. And the Rallyan's not getting any younger. That was dark, but I agree. Actually, closer to Dragon's Bridge than anywhere else, it looks like. All right. Well, I guess let's see what's in White Run and then maybe that looks like a storm coming. I have never in my life known someone who could predict the weather. Oh, well, I met you. Yeah, let's uh, let's go into White Run. <laughs> <laughs> 